right after this. Highway 57, place where I was born. Right down the road, a piece to the sound of a car horn. Well, I got no use for the big town. Too many strings attached to strings. I belong to the highway, and what the highway brings. Good stuff. I think we've got half the well, stack thank, into the newsroom. Thank you. Well, there's a, that, that's the way this show works, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, it's good to see you, and the nice show is going well. It's going great. Couldn't be better. You know, uh, it, it's just, as you can see, we all like each other, and uh, we like playing the show, so. Like each other? You work so tightly together. That's amazing. I you thought I was in a Nashville. the dressing room. Is that right? <laughs> oh, okay. I don't want to. this is tight. <laughs> I don't want to hear about that. Oh, golly, John, oh, my ears are turning red, Tom. <laughs> Okay, uh, this is playing at the Variety Dinner Theater. That's right, the Variety Dinner Theater. It's uh, young, just above Ag yep. Aglington. Good food, good music. I know, I've been there many times. Yeah. And uh, maybe you'd like to set up this next number that you're going to do. Well, this comes towards the end of the show when uh, the Pump Boys and Dinettes uh, take Uncle Bob's old Winnebago and go down to Florida for a little holiday. <laughs> and uh, we just take it on a test drive, you know, a couple thousand miles. Yeah. And... Uh, 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 I think that's all you have to know. It's called Farmer Tan, and it's, uh, it's the kind of thing that anybody who's been to Florida can really relate to, I think. All right, here we go with Pump Boys and Dinettes. The sun is hot, it burns all day, but I don't need no fan to soleil. I'm on the sand. Girls at hand, I've got a secret plan. What's your secret plan? The sun don't hurt, there's a gown on a t-shirt. I got a farmer tan. A farmer tan on my neck and arm. Farmer tan, the secret of my charm. Every girl wants a man with a farmer tan. Farmer tan. When I go swimming with brown young women, they fall over themselves just to get to me. Two tone biceps, ivory chest. Further below, the girls do get to see a farmer tan on my neck and arm. Farmer tan, the secret of my 
charm. Every girl was a man with a farmer tan. to see why the Broadway production of Pump Boys and Dinettes was nominated for a Tony Award and won four Drama Bench Awards in New York. It's great fun and pure entertainment. The gas station attendants and waitresses romp through a show that includes pop, rock, country blues, bluegrass, gospel, and ballad. The best part about it is the talented cast at the Variety Dinner Theater seem to enjoy doing the show as much as the audience enjoys watching it. That's what I want. Well, old man fast, he can hit pretty good, but that ain't no surprise. All I want is a little catfish just to make my nature right. When it's midnight, we'll be cooking in the moonlight, nobody looking. The one with the mustache on his face, the one catfish on my life. Do you find your characters pretty easy to identify with? Oh, yeah, I think so. Well, I, I uh, worked in a diner or a cafe all summer, and uh, so it was almost like I just went from one restaurant job to another. No, not really. But, uh, yeah, I really like Prudy. I think she's close to me, in a way. Mm. And I've always wanted to sing with the band, so, I mean, it's... The fun there is just, oh, I'm singing with the band. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, you've got an extensive music background, and you get to use your instruments pretty well up here. Is it? But you have quite a classical background, don't you? Yeah, I do. I studied for many, many a year, but I decided to pursue uh, a more modern style of piano and music in general because I, I didn't really have any feeling for, for classical. My mother managed the, uh, the Windsor Symphony for quite some time, but that really didn't rub off either. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I studied jazz at uh, Humber College for three years and graduated. One of the few graduates and went back for another year of postgraduate work. And, uh, and here you here are, are at Pumpoys and Dinettes with bluegrass Acting. and and blues and rock and pop and the whole business. Now yeah. that's got to be fun to do, to yeah. that whole range of mm -hmm. music. Pamela, I know that you know the inside scoop about how this show was originated. Maybe you could tell us about it. Well... It's, it's pretty amazing. It's actually a very organic thing. It played on Broadway, and they never really expected that it would go to Broadway. It wasn't designed from the outset that way. But uh, what happened was there, there was a bunch of guys who were in a band in New York. Actually, they were out-of-work actors, but they played instruments, and they got together. And they were playing clubs, and one night, one of the guys came in with a, a gas station attendance outfit on like overalls and the guy who was leading the band said i'm going to go home and write a song about a gas station attendant so he went home and and he said yeah and what we could call ourselves the pump boys and i could write a whole bunch of songs so they they started this act and they wrote all these songs about the pump boys meanwhile his wife was well they were rehearsing in their living room his wife who's an who was an out, out of work actress was working on a show with a friend of hers in the bedroom of their little tiny New York apartment. And they were putting together this act about two women who run a diner, sisters. And finally one day they said, gee, you know, we need a band to back us up. So it just became Pump Boys and Dinettes, and 
They took it to some clubs and producers picked it up and they took it to Off-Broadway. And when they got to Broadway, it was like, they said they were slightly embarrassed because they had never planned for it to get that big. It was just a simple it idea. It just mm -hmm. caught on. Yeah, yeah basically. Such an entertaining yeah. It's, it's a very grassroots kind of a show. Everybody can pretty much relate to it. My girlfriend uh, brought her father down who... Uh, really got a big kick out of the show and my brother as a matter of fact saw the show in detroit about a year and a half ago and he turned me on to it gave me the the audio tape and it's really funny when i walked in for the auditions i played half the score and these guys went how do you know about this thing and I, <laughs> yeah i think it's it's a simple bit of entertainment and people really respond to it there there's a, a sale going on for sick kids here for the albums here mark could you tell us about that well basically right now we're selling uh audio cassettes and the albums on CBS Records and Tapes, in the uh, lobby here and at CKFM Radio, and uh, all the proceeds will be going to the Hospital for Sick Children. One of the things that I really enjoyed about the show was that all the percussion and using the kitchenware that was found in the diner, and I especially was impressed by the, the pots and pans. How did you, was that a, a fun thing for you to do, Pam? Well, it was a bit of a challenge, because I've never played percussion, but... Uh, I think I have a sense of rhythm. Pam's always getting into the apple pie with the thing. It kind of splats everywhere and it doesn't really but it was, make for a good impression for was, the audience. It was know. fun. The, uh, the guys from New York who did the production down there came up and taught the dinettes, Don Aiken and myself, how to do that little percussion solo. And uh, they just said, experiment. Whatever kitchen equipment you want to use, try it out. So we play, in another part of the show, we play cheese craters with our wooden spoons. And uh, we make all kinds of sounds. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Everything is fun about this show, right? Yeah. yeah. It's uh, family entertainment. Gosh, bring down the kids, bring down grandma and grandpa. It's uh, <laughs> that kind of a show. Basically, anybody can uh, enjoy it. Even us. Yeah. It, it's the kind of thing I don't think I'll be tired of doing for quite some time. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of variety on stage. We really get to uh, strut our stuff, as it were. Yeah. But well, only one kind of fish I chase The one with the mustache on his face I want catfish on my life Catfish all the time Catfish all night long Catfish, that's what I want Cause it's so delicious. Catfish. Well, that's my wish. Catfish. Catfish. How does it look, Mary? Is that okay? It's you, yeah. Okay, good. I've always wanted to be a... Is this a pump boy or a dinette? I guess no, no. A pump boy. <laughs> you got, if you want my apron, <laughs> you can be a dinette. Okay, Mary Louisa Halen, you're the most recent addition to the cast. That's right. And you've, you were saying you feel like a veteran because you've done 68 shows. That's right. Last night was 68. I can't believe it's gone like that. Let's go do a quick intro of everybody else here, okay? Okay. Pamela Shilton, she's another Dianette. Mm -hmm. We got Ed Henderson on lead guitar. He's also the musical director. Robert Massieg on lead. He's Jim. He's my boyfriend. And there's uh, Randy Kemp on bass, and he's also Jackson. And we got L.M. over there, who's Mark Kersey, and he's yeah. on piano. What a great show. The audiences still love it, having oh, a good time. Oh, it's, it's great. We have, we have a really good time. I think that helps. So. Yeah. All right, we're going to do uh, the opening number, I think. This is called Highway 57. That's right. I have to part can, with my you hat. You can now. do it. If you were in the hat, you can do the song. <laughs> I don't think so. I'll leave it up to you guys, okay? <laughs> okay, thanks, Pump Bob. girls and pump boys and dinettes. Let's do it. Highway 57, the place where I was born. Right down the road a piece to the sound of a car horn. Now I got no use for the big town. Too many strings attached to strings. Now I belong to the highway. What the highway brings. Yeah. Well, I run this gas station with my partner, Ellen. We've been nine years together. And that's it. We call ourselves the Pump Boy. Nine. 
Pump Boys and Dinettes, and a global cameraman just happened to show up and record the fun. Jane, John, <laughs> what did you think? Was it everything we said it was? Super show. Super show. Very good. I just want to say that Global really knows how to put on a night on the town. I had to restrain John all evening and Jane from going up on the stage, but I did a good job. It was all together very, very successful. Pam and Mary Lou were beckoning me up there. Every two minutes they were looking at me saying, come on up. <laughs> I'm not going to show you my prize from last night. I refuse to show it. Uh, by the way.